It's been months since I did an update about drop shipping on my Facebook account, but for anyone new here, let me break this down. I find products on Amazon and eBay and list those for a markup on my Facebook account. People will then buy those products, they're shipped to the customer, and then I get to keep the change that's left over. And doing this has allowed me to live rent free for the last six months. And the best part is, is that I'm not even the one doing this. And unlike most passive income streams, this is truly 100% passive. Now, this is an extremely summarized version of how this works. And I'm not only going to be covering how much I've made over over the last six months, but some setbacks I've had along the way. And you're going to want to make sure that you stick around to the end of the video because I have a giveaway for one lucky subscriber on how they're going to be able to get started immediately for 100% free. Let's get into it. What's up guys, my name is Chris and on this channel, I cover different ways I'm making passive income online. And today we are covering Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. And this is actually my third video on the subject, but since my last video, there's been quite a few new faces to the channel. So I wanted to make sure I did a thorough update. But after this video, I recommend checking out those other two videos as well to get a better picture about Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. But for right now, you're probably wondering how this all works, how much have I actually made? How can you get started to where this can be 100% passive just like I have? It. And why are all the people that are helping me out not just listing all of the products for themselves on their own Facebook account? And I'm going to be getting into all of that and more about drop shipping in this video. But first, you know what really helps this video out is dropping your thumb or mouse down to that like button and subscribing for new videos every single week. Now, first, let's talk about what drop shipping actually is because I hear this term misused so much in the e commerce make money online space. And all drop shipping is, is selling goods that you do not physically own own, but have access to. And once that item sells, you will then have that good shipped from the place that has the product to the customer. This means that you actually never own the product on hand and you do not have to purchase the goods in bulk. And there's a wide variety of places where you can drop ship from. So in this video, we're only talking about finding products on eBay or Amazon, but people teach drop shipping to find products on Home Depot, Target, Walmart, and the list goes on. And you can sell those products, not just on Facebook Marketplace. You can sell those on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Poshmark. However, with those platforms, it's usually against their terms of service. And if you get caught, you will get shut down despite what these gurus on YouTube are teaching you. And you could go the exact opposite route where you don't want to list those on third party platforms. You could list it on your own website and drop ship from your own website, but then you're going to be battling, how do I get traffic to my own website? And you're going to have to run Facebook ads. And there's a huge learning curve with that. And that could be costly as well. And I feel like Facebook marketplace drop shipping addresses all of these concerns. Not only is drop shipping permitted on Facebook Marketplace within certain guidelines, but they have over 1.8 billion customers. So there's never a shortage of people shopping on Facebook. And then you couple that with Facebook's low fees where it's only 5% as opposed to some of these other third party platforms like Amazon, Walmart, eBay, Poshmark. They usually start at 15% and work their way up to 25% in fees. So those lower margins give sellers more wiggle room to to work with to find profitable products to sell. Now, the two questions I want to answer is how much have I actually made so far? And furthermore, how much did I have to spend to make that? And so far I've made $12,424, which comes out to be a little over $2,000 over the course of the last six months. And I've spent $30,205 on that, meaning that my return on investment is a little over 40%. And that's after paying out both of my employees. And on top of that, not included in the profit that I just gave you, I'm earning $500 every month in either cash back or travel rewards points based on credit card sign on bonuses, meaning that if I spend $5,000, I'm getting an additional $500 back every month. And I'm not going to be getting into how that works. But I will leave a link to some of the credit cards that offer that some of those sign on bonuses to their users. And I'm really happy with this 41% ROI for anyone who isn't familiar with how ROIs are in e commerce, usually they vary anywhere from 20% to 80%. And usually you have to spend much more to get that 41% ROI. So I think that's really good considering there's no work attached to this. And this leads me into how much work am I actually doing for this output? And the answer is none at all. So I found two different freelancers. One was from Fiverr and the other was from Upwork. And these freelancing websites allow you to basically arbitrage work where you can pay people in other countries more than they would make working a minimum wage job. But we get to save on wages if we were to hire here in the States. So it's a win-win for both parties. And there's multiple parts to the Facebook business. There's fulfilling the orders to the customers, finding those products, listing those products, 
uploading, tracking once an item sells, managing customer returns, and then obviously answering questions about the products. And that can definitely get time consuming if you were to do this yourself. Here in a little bit, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get started using one of my team members. But first, I want to talk about some of the setbacks I've had along the way. And there have definitely been a few since the last video. So my marketplace account has definitely had a few setbacks, a couple of which were getting suspended multiple times. And the reason why my account got suspended was because I had a couple of different people accessing my Facebook account from different IP addresses. Now to combat this problem, we now use this software on my laptop called AnyDesk, which is a software when you give employees access, they can access the laptop from anywhere in the world. However, I did not want them accessing my main laptop. So I got a cheap $60 laptop from eBay that I leave on at all times. And they can then in turn access that marketplace account at any time, any part of the day, all from the same IP address. Now, another problem that other people have faced that I've helped get set up doing this is just the whole payout structure and there being a lag of payouts. And what I mean by this is the fact that there's going to be delayed payouts in the beginning as your products sell. And Facebook Marketplace just wants to make sure that you are in turn fulfilling those orders and the customers are happy. So there's a two to three week lag time between the time when something sells to the time that you get paid out doing this, which means that you're going to want to make sure that you have funds available to kind of float you while you're getting paid out in the beginning. I always tell people it's probably best to start with about $1,000. That way in the beginning, you start with $500. And then as those sales come in, you can then deploy another 500 bucks to get sales. And once again, guys, keep in mind, this isn't risky because we're not buying goods in bulk. We're just purchasing once the product has already been ordered by the customer. So in theory, you should want to try and sink in as much money as you possibly can based on the orders that you're getting, which leads me into the third problem I see a lot of people face. And that's just getting the store up and running. And usually it's a little slow in the beginning. A lot of people, they don't want to purchase from you. They want to purchase from people that already have more reviews and that are more established. And that's the biggest obstacle in the beginning is just getting those reviews going. Now, something that I think helped jumpstart my results in the beginning, as opposed to other people is just have a friendly picture, maybe a picture of you smiling or with you with kids, or if you have any pets, maybe put them in your Facebook profile picture or your store picture that might help. Now, I don't have any data to back this up. Up, but I'm just trying to use common sense and any little bit will help you out here. And before I help you get started, a common question I hear a lot of people ask me is, Chris, why don't these people that are helping you out just list them on their own Amazon store? And my answer to that is twofold. My first one is, is just job security. So these Facebook stores will go down and you can only list so much on any given store at once. And would you rather list $50,000 across 25 different stores or $50,000 across 10 different stores? And the answer is the first one. So that way, if one store goes down, you have more eggs in different baskets. And the other reason is just being able to list a certain amount of goods on each store. And the more reviews each store gets, the more products you can list on that store. But there is a threshold to this. I don't know what that threshold is, but there comes a certain point where Facebook will flag your store for doing too much revenue. Now, as I said, I'm not going to be getting into the hiring process of this video, but I wanted to help some of you guys out get going on this whole Facebook marketplace business. Down below, I have a link to one of the guys that I use. I'm only offering this out to 20 different people and it is a small one-time fee. So you do have to be cool with that. And you do have to be located in the United States. But if you meet all of those criteria, I'm also going to be giving this out to one subscriber. If you just comment down below, just why I should pick you, I will comment winner before my next video drops and that person will then get a free slot guaranteed locked in no matter what we'll get a guaranteed spot so be sure to do that and one more thing is i recommend having at least a thousand dollars for inventory the first month probably will be pretty slow but you just want to make sure that you can have enough money to back that up and credit cards are great for this because it's not like you're buying these goods in bulk as i stated it's only once an order is placed so you should want to fulfill that order so we'll have down below a link to a couple of credit cards that have really helped me out and also earn you cash back as well. As always, guys, be sure to like and subscribe for new videos coming out every single week. Check out the free Facebook and Discord group in the description below. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.